Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lynn. I'm glad you're joining me. I'm glad you popped over today. So what are we doing today? Well, I, I'm in a, in a weird spot in life and I'm trying to dig out from it. So maybe this will help somebody else out there. I love when I listen to other YouTubers talk about their life or where they're at at life. Sometimes, you know, some of them whine and complain. So I, I don't want to whine and complain. And when they do, I end up turning the video off. But hang on, don't turn it off because I have a solution. But I do like to hear the realities of people's worlds. And then, you know, are they coping with it? Are they getting through it? How are they getting through it? Um, what are their solutions? The solutions don't always work the first time. You have to tweak it. So where I'm at, I just showed you a quick little snippet of part of my day at work. Work has changed. I've had three people resign in my department. We have other departments. People have, to, you know, you go through seasons in any business where people move on to, you know, a different lifestyle, a different whatever, you know, they want something different. So we're in a process of, you know, tweaking that and changing and hiring and but we're in the height of our busy season this is summer here in new jersey you know beach fun all the rest and i'm at a conference center and people are coming away for their family vacations and that's part of my job is to give them a good experience so what's happening so right now because of shifting in my department and hiring and training and internships I, for a few days here and there, will be in a temporary office, which is fine. It's a bigger office, it's a private office, it's quiet, and that's what you got to see. This was a temporary area. But I think what happened was, is I, I hit my wall. I had my weekend, my Friday is Monday. So, you know, when you all are done with work on Friday and you have the weekend off, I'm working all the way through. So I'm off Tuesdays and Wednesdays in the summer. And then my Monday is Thursday and I go from Thursday to Monday. So again, my Friday would be Monday. So I hit my wall, it's Friday for me. You know, you've worked all week, you're tired. Now I go in, it's the beginning of everybody else's week who had the weekend off and they're all refreshed and I'm like, I worked all weekend, I'm pooped, I'm tired. It was a long weekend. And then I was in a temporary office and I had a slew of work. I'm ahead on some things and behind the eight ball on others. And I had a last minute meeting that I thought was gonna be 20 minutes. It turned out an hour and a half. It was a necessary meeting. It was a good meeting. It was great. All these things were good. And my podcast that was supposed to upload last week never uploaded, so it's uploading I think today, today and my one that I recorded for today will be uploaded next week. All those, I had to reorganize all of that and just a lot of stuff. And it was funny because my one coworker said, I'm usually up front in the front part of the office and people are always coming and asking questions. Now I'm working in the back of the office and she thought, she said, because you're back there, I didn't think anybody would find you, but the line was like, out the door, I have a question, I have a question. And it was all good. I mean, none of it was bad. It was just, ah, oh. so I had to sit down and really regroup. And you saw, I had my planner on my desk and I had to think, I felt like everything was out of control and I felt like I couldn't get a grip and I couldn't focus. So I sat down with a piece of paper and I said, okay, first of all, make a list. You gotta make a list. So I made a list of everything that I needed to do and didn't necessarily prioritize it, but I just made a list. Then I took a highlighter and I highlighted the three things that I knew. You know, they always say your top three, if I, by midnight tonight, these three must be done. And then I kind of starred another three that like this would be secondary and the rest hoped to get done, which did not get done. But anyway, so I did that. And then one of the things I did and it really helped me, and I was talking to my husband about it, is I feel like because of what has happened in the past month in my own life, if you've noticed, I haven't been on YouTube in three weeks. I have never, since I started my channel, not been on for three weeks. I've tried to post on the community page just to let you know I'm still around. It's been crazy. Um, I will 
fill you in on some of those things as we go along, but it's been crazy enough for me not to even have time to do anything. And I'm gonna show you in a minute the results of not having time. So what happened? You know, sometimes in life things get out of control and it's beyond your control. Just like I went into work yesterday and everything, as they say, hit the fan. Everything that was supposed to be changed and everything we had instituted into a, you know, this is how we're going to do it, a schedule, whatever, changed and people checked in and wanted something different than they originally wanted. So that changed, it was crazy. And I had to sit down and just catch my breath and regroup. So like I said, I made a list. Then I took two sticky notes and I said morning routine. Now this was probably about 11 in the morning and I started at seven. So I was halfway through my day, but I wrote down my morning routine of what I needed to do. I had done all those things already. They were completed, the task was done, but I just felt like I needed to write that down. And then I wrote down the afternoon routine as I'm starting to try and unwind and get out of there, what was going to take place. Does that make sense? And I came home and I said to my husband, with all that has happened in my life, I think one of the things that I'm missing is routine. Now I get bored with routine. Routine keeps me on track, but I'm a little ADD. And so routine, I get bored with. So I always have to do routine with a twist. But I'll tell you the one thing, when I do things routinely, I realize that they are important. It is important to brush your teeth every day routinely. It's important to take a shower routinely. It's important to change your clothes routinely. Now these are the basic things you would teach a child and sometimes we get out of sync and I know, you know, people that maybe aren't going out to work and stay home. You know, I've heard people say, yeah, I haven't showered in a few days. Well, you need to do that. It does something physically. It keeps you clean and mentally it keeps you sharp. There's something about those things in a routine. And I know in the Bible, it says do things decently and in order. And there's a reason for that. And I'm trying to regroup again, Life got out of control in my home. Life got out of control in my life and life is getting out of control at work. I can only control what I can control. The rest of it, sometimes it is what it is. So what am I doing? I'm regrouping. I have my daily plan list. I love this. It's just a notebook. We got it at Ross or TJ Maxx. It has a magnet. I like this for especially my day off shirt. Yes. Freshly showered routine, clean clothes, took a shower, fresh makeup. This is like my day off list or when I have a super busy day, I like this pad and I write everything down. I just tear it off when I'm done, one sheet at a time. I really like that. I know a lot of you have asked about how I use my planner, why I use it, what do I use it for? I'll show you that in an up and coming video. I need to switch from, believe it or not, from my June to my, whoop, got a flipped. That's my daily to my July and it is July 4th. And what I do is I put sticky notes in months before of things up and coming for that month that I have to write in there. And I take these sticky notes off once I apply it and I haven't applied it yet. It will start out blank like this. And then I apply this, these notes, and then it ends up probably looking like this because I decorate it. So I updated my planner enough to know where I'm at and what I need to do. And then I have a notebook and I've come up with my own system. Everybody has a different system, but this notebook houses notes for you to uh, devotions that I'm working on my shopping list. I need to order Instacart, um, basic budget notes, places we want to go. Here's just to show you. Yep. Let me flip the page here. Let's flip the page, let's flip the page. YouTube ideas, yes, it's all decorated. I'm a creative person mentally, and when I see something like this, I get excited and I wanna work hard, but that's a list of all the videos I would love to do. So, with that being said, got a nice pen. I'm a pen snob, I find a pen I like, I keep using it. What am I doing here now in my life, what am I, you know, doing, I'm trying to regroup and take back what is mine, which is my home, my life, and my family, 
unity. And we've all been going in different directions. Life is changing. There's some wonderful changes up and coming in my family. There's some that I'm a little concerned about. Extended family. We just have a lot going on and I need to get back on routine. With that being said, I'm going to take you in the kitchen. And you know, this is reality. This is at home with Lynn. This is my reality. My house is not perfect. Sorry guys. I have a sink full of dishes right now. I have laundry all over my basement floor. My bed is not made. My bathroom hasn't been cleaned. And I have a pile of stuff in the corner here that has to go to Goodwill. My house is not perfectly clean, but that's my life. I don't have time for it all the time. And I get myself frustrated and I get overwhelmed. And because that happens, I have to regroup and that's what we're doing. So I'm gonna take you over to my refrigerator and my freezer and we're gonna talk over there. So let me take you to the good news first. The good news is I have cleaned out the top of my freezer. So I have some ice packs. I took, first of all, I took everything out, everything. I disinfected, I wiped down, I took everything out up here. I made sure what I had. Actually, I don't know how these vitamins got in the freezer, but they don't belong in there. If you need a natural antibiotic, this is perfection. We use it all the time whenever we need it. So up here are my chocolates and my morsels and things like that. I have butter here that I use for baking. This is where we keep our ice packs and I have yeast and some bones. I'm trying something new to make my own bone meal for the garden. So I have washed these chicken bones, uh, putting them in here. When I get enough bones, I'm going to pressure can them. Pressure, not pressure can, pressure cook in my Instapot. And then you put them in the blender and you grind them down because putting them in the pressure cooker makes them very soft. Grind them down and then use bone meal in the garden. And I have some currants that I don't use too often unless I'm making Welsh cakes or something like that. So I keep those in the freezer. So I actually cleaned this out. I'm trying to clean out my deep freeze and I wanted to frost that. So here we go. This is Gavin's little, I made it like a little pull out shelf for him. So this is his smoothies, his snacks and things that he likes his chicken. This is also Gavin likes these particular chicken and broccolis. I cleaned this out. I had some things in here that I just felt we're never gonna use. I made some chili and we put on there chili for soup. You want a good soup? I'll show you one time. You take this chili, leftover chili, this container, you add some chicken or beef broth to it. You could add rice to it. I just add spinach. I freeze spinach in the bag in the freezer, crumble it up like parsley, add it in there. I usually add some carrots and let me tell you, it makes the absolute best, the absolute best soup. I have some pork and gravy that was left over from another meal. So we can do that over brace, like a uh, brace. Ha! Wanted to say bread and rice at the same time. Over bread with like an open face sandwich or over rice and add a vegetable. I have some homemade soups, some chicken broths in here, more homemade soup. These three, these two, and that one there are chicken broths. This container here contains all my meats. I have some sauerkraut I froze. Um, this is more meats and bacon and things like that. This is some frozen raspberries until I need them. I have some cheeses in here. I have some buttermilk in here. So this is nicely cleaned out. Now, this is the good news. Let me show you what happens when life takes over, life gets chaotic, you have no time, literally no time. You work all day, you come home, whip something together for dinner, run out the door, get home nine, 10 o'clock at night and climb back in bed and do that for three weeks straight. This is what will happen. Yes, my friends, you were seeing the reality of three weeks of a refrigerator that is a complete and utter disaster. There you go. This is reality. This is my reality. Anybody want to come over and clean it for me? We don't know what's in here. I said to my husband, there could be a live animal in the back there and I wouldn't know it. Now, granted the milk, I have almond milk and regular milk and some juices are bulky. We have containers of vegetables I need to sort through. We have some takeout. Yes, we did takeout. We've been very busy. We have no room to put things. We stacked them up here. Things just got shoved wherever and whatever we could do. So my job right now is to, as you can see, things have spilled. I, yeah, look at that. 
Somebody put a Chinese food container in there and it's all over the place. See that? More food up there. So we are right now going to completely disassemble this refrigerator, clean it out. I'm going to salvage what I can, reorganize what I can. Whatever's in here leftover wise is what's for lunch. After that, we're going to a barbecue. It, I'm telling you, it is an absolute mess. So yes, you get to see the reality of my home. Here's a picture. Yes, my sink is full of dirty dishes. Why is that? Well, we're going to a barbecue. I made a homemade cake. I'm getting ready to make homemade frosting. I had to make pasta in here. So I'm making a uh, pasta salad that I make for every barbecue. I'm gonna show you how to make it. It's user friendly. It's probably sitting in your pantry and you can pull it together very quickly and easily budget friendly. And I made some garlic roasted potatoes. I'll put a picture up top here of in the air fryer. I parboiled some potatoes, just diced them up. They smell so good. I put olive oil, salt. Uh, I did not do pepper. I forgot to do pepper. I might add that at the very end. And what else? Garlic and onion powder. That was it. Parboiled them in water, chopped up like this. Then I put them in a bowl while they were nice and hot, added the olive oil and all the seasonings, threw it in the air fryer for about 20, 25 minutes till they browned up. That is traveling with us. So that's, I love these deli containers. Pop it in here get the lid on it and it's ready for traveling I will use the same size container there's probably how many of us one two three four five I think five people today I don't know how many will eat it but I'm gonna make this pasta salad and put it in a container like this this pasta salad by the way is great for a side dish for any meal it's great for any salad that you need to take to like an open house party or you know any barbecue or anything like that as well as it's a great meal to have in the refrigerator if you need a quick go-to lunch especially in the summer on a hot day so we need a can of peas for that i have to open that up and i'm using a little can because i'm making a little salad can of tuna i have to drain that so we'll get that going in a minute i have some baked beans uh, you know to me you can't have a barbecue without baked beans so I will not use all that. I probably will bring a container size of this. And for those that want some, there's not that many that are gonna eat it. Bring back whatever we don't use and freeze. And I have these containers in a smaller, you know, like maybe an inch high. And then I will just break whatever's left from the can into those and freeze it and get that out of the way. Then I have some chips in a big box this is a box of how many i don't even know 50 bags got that at bj's 50 bags right here let's see if you can see that something's blocking it i don't know there you go 50 bags and um got that at bj's i figured that would last us we took it to one party we already had graduation party for my youngest son with just our small family we're doing it for the barbecue today road trips over the next several weeks this will last us all summer Pick these up at the Dollar Tree, bring those over to the barbecue as an extra. And then my son does not eat macaroni salad. He loves macaroni, but not cold. He won't eat potatoes unless they're French fries. Very particular. He'll have chips. We're having chicken. We're having hot dogs. So I am going to make him boxed macaroni and cheese. I have been making homemade macaroni and cheese with the Velveeta sauce. And he has come up with his own recipe. He likes corn added to it. I don't have any fresh, so we'll use canned. And he likes scrambled eggs. I do a stir fry uh, rice with, with the scrambled eggs. He won't eat eggs, but he'll eat it in this. No problem. You're gonna eat it, I'll feed you. So I just did three eggs in the microwave for two minutes. You know how to do that. And so we're gonna make macaroni and cheese. We're gonna add the corn. We're gonna add the egg. He will be a happy boy. He'll have a hot dog. He'll have a piece of chicken and he'll be good to go. So let me show you how I make that salad before we wrap this up. All right, guys, thanks for coming along on my journey today. We have lots of videos up and coming. If you hear pitter patter of little feet, that is Kip walking back and forth on my kitchen floor. My husband just cleaned it last night, did a good scrub on my floor. So he is, I think, enjoying the slippery feeling on his toes. Go lie down. No, he thinks this is for him. It is not. So we're gonna close with this. So 
What I did is I had a little bit of Shell's noodles. You can use elbow. You can use any pasta you have. You could use penny pasta. Doesn't matter. I had these, that's what I'm using. Then you take, I like chunk light tuna. That is tuna of my choice. My mom likes albacore. I like the flavor of this, and I also like how easy it is. Albacore to me is very hard to break up. Here's a tip though. This tuna was drained. My husband always drains it for me. Hang on one second, I gotta take care of this dog. So back to the tuna. So I like the chunk light because it breaks up easier, but um, yes, drain your tuna. My husband puts the lid, after he takes it off, puts a lid on it and presses and presses and presses. The drier it is, the better in the salad. If you add it wet, it just makes the salad a little slimy, I guess you'd say. So drain your tuna. Canned peas. You can use frozen peas if you want and cook them. I don't think it adds the same flavor. You do not have to use the brand name. It happened to be what I got. Um, don't use the brand name. I only stick to brand name tuna. I don't know why. I've tried off brands. I don't like them. So here we go. We take your macaroni. You add your tuna. I don't break it up ahead of time. I one pot wonder here. Just take your tuna, you know, use up all the bits and pieces. So to a, um, a half a box, I would say, of, if you did a pound of elbow macaroni, I would use two cans. If you're using half a pound, I'd use one can. And then I just break the tuna up a little bit with the back of my spoon, just to almost like, to the point where it's covering all the noodles on the top. That's good enough, because it's all gonna mix together. Then I take my peas and I put in probably half a can. I just, yeah, I'd say that's about half. I don't know how many peas, I don't wanna overload it. So there we go. Actually, I need to, can you hand me that spoon? I don't like to put the tuna spoon in the mayonnaise. You know, you don't like all the extra bits. At least I don't in here. So let's add some mayonnaise. I'm gonna add one, I'm gonna add two, then I'm gonna add three heaping spoons. There you go, just like that. We're gonna mix it up. Now, if you make this the night before, which is really the best, because having this super chilled is the best flavor. If you make it last minute and then it's on the warm side, it's still good. But somehow when you chill it, or if you have hours to let it chill, it's better. But if you let it sit for several hours or overnight, it will possibly absorb some of the mayonnaise, which is fine. Just add another spoonful before you go, give it a good zhuzh, and you're ready to roll. Now to me, this is like perfect. I don't think I wanna add any more peas to this. See that, I'm good. I'm not gonna add any more peas. I'm gonna save that half a can of peas. I'm not adding any more mayonnaise. What you could add to this, your choice, a little garlic powder, you could use onion powder, you could use dried onions, you could do salt and pepper. My mom is very particular. She does not like bits of things in her salad. We're going to my mom's, I wanna honor that. So you can add to that some pickle juice, you could add some sliced carrots, some celery. You know, this bowl could look like you want it to look. We went super simple, budget friendly, all this stuff came out of my pantry. I didn't have to think about it. Hope you enjoyed that recipe and stick around. We got some more videos up and coming.